You know, I think this new Afghanistan plan has a chance to succeed. I think it is very innovative. And when our ambassadors uh, talked about it after it came out, it was universally acclaimed because the conditions-based exit, uh, everybody knew that it was a mistake to put a hard deadline. They knew the Taliban would wait. They did, and the Taliban came back with stronger force when we left at the end of 2014. And I think conditions that are the, uh, the exit strategy are important because it means we're staying until the job is done. That has emboldened the Afghan leaders. And here's what's different. Both Ghani and Abdullah Abdullah were in our meeting, and they made commitments for reform that would give a stronger basis of government, that would attack the corruption, they're bringing new, younger, educated people into the cabinet. The new Secretary of Defense, the new Secretary of the Interior, whose sole purpose is to attack corruption in the country because the drug cartels are paying um, and that's, that is financing the Taliban. And so you see that new, younger generation coming up there is now a mandatory retirement age for the military. It used to be 70, now it's 62 for generals, and it's down to 58 for the lower level officers. So those older generals are moving out, and those younger, educated uh, military um, people are seeing that they have a way to move up. President Ghani said, our people are willing to fight for our country. There are 300,000 in the Afghan army now. And when we went out to the outpost to meet with the uh, NATO units, uh, American units as well as Italy, Turkey, Germany, very mixed Polish units, um, they said the Afghan fighters are good. They're, they fight differently from us, but they know what they're doing and they're good and they are committed and they've had heavy losses, but they're still out there. They see that with the new strategy of regionalizing to make sure that Pakistan and India are going to be helpful, uh, Pakistan um, has uh, not been as helpful as they could. They've been helpful in some areas, but not others. Uh, now they see a different, they see a different uh, Taliban effort since our new uh, strategy went into force. And when we brought back more air power to, it's the Afghans who are fighting, it's not Americans. The Americans are advising and they're training. And so are the NATO forces. Uh, but. It's the Afghans who are on the ground, and we are giving them advice and counsel and training, and they're, they're good now. And the air cover has scattered the Taliban. And so they're seeing a, a different Pakistan. Pakistan is doing some things now that they hadn't done before that were good, that are good. Um, India is really stepping up. I, we cannot say enough about how much India is doing. And the Afghan people like the Indian people. They've been, they've been there, they have invested in education and um, infrastructure, and the Afghan people trust them. And they've said they'll step up and do more. And so I think the regionalization the conditions-based exits, and the younger generation coming in, and President Ghani and Abdullah, the two rivals, both saying two things. We are committed to reform in our government, we are committed to fighting corruption, and the Afghan people are going to fight for our own country. 
Those are the differences, and it's making a difference already.